Hi, welcome to the Homebody Witch. I'm still slowly decorating for Samhain slash Halloween, having a good time again, taking it really slowly. Right now, the living room set up a little differently because we hosted our first meal, a harvest meal, last week, and I haven't put the table away yet, and our little house isn't big enough to have a dining room of its own, so just moved some furniture around and set up the dining table, the, the antique dining table that I have. Um, I'm going to have to take it apart and then put it back downstairs again, but it's, it's pretty easy to just set up when there's um, meals with guests to be have in the library living room space. One of the projects that we're working on right now is my mom found these really wonderful gourds. And this one we decided really look like a little house. And then there are two smaller ones that we thought could represent my honey bunny and me. So I'm waiting for my honey bunny to come home and I'm going to get them to put the faces on to represent my honey bunny and myself because I'm just not as good of an illustrator slash drawer. And then there's this adorable little pumpkin that is going to represent Cooper. So then we will have a little gourd representation of ourselves and our little home. And I think I'm going to put it in the window so that it can be seen from outside but still kept kind of safe by being inside as opposed to outside where there's a lot of rain, especially right now it's been on and off. Also have this other really little pumpkin to use. I also got these really wonderful bats that I think were just made with like a vinyl cutter and they were on Etsy. And what's wonderful is how easily they come apart and put back together again. So they'll be a nice decoration that's easy to keep year after year since they come apart nice and easily. So adding more every few days to the space to really tap into this Samhain slash Halloween season. So I'm still looking for a antique vintage dresser <laughs> to house my clothing, um, but it's still taking a while to find the right one. But we were really lucky, my honey bunny and I, because we were out walking and out on a sidewalk we saw this beautiful vintage shelf unit, a little bookshelf, and we picked it up right away. I really like it because I feel like it looks like a little temple. So right now it's housed on a bedside little dresser that has two um, drawers but really isn't enough for all the clothing. But anyways, um, I put it there and I put all my um, Penguin English Library Classics editions, or at least most of them. I have some out in the Halloween dip display still. But I just really enjoy the way it looks and how it's a little temple of books beside the bed. So while I didn't find the dresser, still good luck in finding this nice little bookshelf and we definitely need more bookshelves still so it's always delightful to find one. Um, for the price I think it was about $30 so I thought that was pretty good and again I'm definitely very happy with it. So for this weekend and into next week I'm going to finish decorating for the Halloween slash Samhain season. I have some decorating to do outside and I'll be sharing that next week. But right now I have to get ready because we have a furnace person coming. They're going to just check in on our furnace and service it because this is um, a new house for us and just thought it was really good to get it serviced, checked in on because part of tapping into the magic of your home and your space is to make sure that everything is running well and healthy. So I better get ready for that and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for spending time with the Homebody Witch. Bye!